Hi everybody, I am Krista with Big Family Homestead and today I'm going to show you how to make a hamburger mac and cheese or a healthy version to Hamburger Helper. Now my family absolutely loves Hamburger Helper. However, I don't like the fact that it has all kinds of preservatives and MSG and all kinds of garbage in it. So I've constructed a, my own recipe to put into a jar that will stay on your shelf for at least 10 years. And it is super, super yummy. Now today I'm gonna to be using a lot of our Thrive Life stuff. It is super awesome, easy, I don't have to chop anything. However, you can use store-bought ingredients if you'd like, uh, but today I'm gonna to use Thrive Life stuff. Just use equivalent measurements for your store-bought ingredients. So I'm gonna show you how to start off by putting your meal in a jar so that you can store it on your shelf, or you can just go ahead and put them in your pot and start cooking. So I'm gonna start with my noodles because those are the biggest thing that goes into the jar. And I'm gonna use two cups of noodles. And I forgot my, my funnel. All right, and now we're gonna get our hamburger. This is awesome. Love this stuff, it's so easy to use. And I need three quarters of a cup of that. Not the oxygen, oxygen absorber, you don't want that in your food. All right, there, that is in there. Now we want our onions. These are so awesome, I hate chopping onions. I don't like crying when I'm cutting onions. So we use these. Third of a cup of those. Now, we need our cheese blend. Now we're gonna put our powdery stuff in. Actually, I'm gonna put the shredded cheese in first. And I need a half a cup of that. Not the oxygen absorber. Goodness gracious. Looky there, half a cup of that. Now I'm gonna tap this down so all of this kinda goes down into the jar a little bit. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put a half a cup of our instant milk in here. And this is not your non-fat dry milk, this is an instant milk. This stuff is awesome, I love it. Now this meal does fill the jar up to the max, but it does take a little finagling to get it in there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and put three quarters of a cup of our cheese blend in here. And again, it takes some finagling, but it does fit. I tried this out before we started our video. See, it does fit. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add our cornstarch. We need two tablespoons of cornstarch. And you can use any kind of thickening. You know, I know a lot of people like to use arrowroot. Um, I, I just happen to have cornstarch on hand. All right, now we've got uh, two teaspoons of our beef bouillon. And this is a vegetarian beef bouillon, but it is delightful. And then a teaspoon of chili powder and a teaspoon of garlic. Our home dried garlic is so yummy. And we are done. Now, if you have some trouble finagling all of this into a jar, go ahead and mix it in a bowl and then put it in through the funnel. It seems to fit a little bit better. I had a little bit of trouble getting it all in there, so. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get our uh, water. We need six and a quarter cup of water, and what I did is I went ahead and I preheated this water so the video will go a lot faster. So we need six and a quarter cups. So we're gonna get our water boiling and then we're gonna go ahead and put our ingredients in. So now while we're waiting for that water to boil, I'm gonna show you a super easy way to vacuum seal these jars uh, with no electricity. We have to happen to have a brake bleeder here, which is really, really cool. Um, and then you have the food saver jar sealer. This is the wide mouth one. So you put your lid right down on there, make sure it's dry, there's no powder on top of there. Um, then go ahead and stick this down on there. Put your food saver lid, uh, 
jar sealer on top. <coughs> Excuse me. Take your point and hold it down into that hole right there, holding it down there tight. And then you're just gonna squeeze this until you get to about 10 PSI, right? That's PSI, right? Okay. And it only takes a few seconds to get as high as you possibly can. And then, listen to that. It's sealed. So you take this off and looky there. This jar is sealed and this will last on your shelf for at least 10 years. If, if it's in the dark and cool area, it'll last even longer. All right, now check this out. See that? It was sealed. Ugh, got all over me. All right, now our water's boiling. We're gonna go ahead and pour this into our boiling water very carefully. I've got a whisk. Not to boil, not to burn yourself. And I'm gonna whisk this around so that the powders don't clump up. Now we need to boil this until our noodles are completely cooked for about eight to 10 minutes. Now you're gonna to wanna to give this a stir every so often because it did start to stick. Now also, if you're interested in that brake bleeder, there is an Amazon link down below. Now you could put broccoli in this, which I was gonna try and sneak some in, but Brad is not approving of that in any way. But you could put green beans, asparagus, peas, whatever veggie you want in here, and it'll make a really yummy meal. All right, so now give it a little taste while it's cooking to make sure that it's got enough salt and pepper to your liking. Oh yeah, we need a little salt and pepper. All right, now this is completely cooked. The noodles are nice and soft. I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna take it off the burner and let it sit for about five minutes to thicken up a bit. Now I was thinking about it. I don't have to put broccoli in the entire meal. I can just take some out of my Thrive can, pour some boiling water on it, and then add my noodles and my ground beef into here and it's a healthier meal for me. Yummy, yummy. Just a little bit, and there's my lunch. Happy mama. Mm -hmm. Now look at what we've made without any chopping or anything like that. Look at that, isn't that, does not look yummy. It looks just like hamburger helper. Now let's give this a taste. cheesy, creamy, and the ground beef is really, really crumbly. I love it, so good. Super easy, no chopping, hamburger helper, beefy, beef macaroni and cheese, so delicious. You can put this on the, on the shelf to store for another time if you just wanna throw it together, but this was super easy and delicious. I'm Krista with the Big Family Homestead and you have an amazing day.